Hi, and welcome to Split Screen, a production of Love OV, presented by Harvey Goodman Realtors and ClickHarvey.com. I'm Nick Nash, your host, streaming live from the Love Lounge, just a few minutes late than we typically are because computers are dumb, and you can take that one to the bank. Special thanks to Harvey Goodman Realtors and ClickHarvey.com for joining us as a uh, sponsor of the show for the month of May. We appreciate their help. And uh, if you are looking to buy or sell a home now or in the near future, there's only one resource you need, and that's ClickHarvey.com, where you'll find hundreds of homes for sale right now. And if you are looking to sell, you'll find all the resources you need right now at ClickHarvey.com. Joining us now on split screen is our guest. She is a small business owner in Washington County, Pennsylvania, West Alexander, PA. She's the owner of Smoky Valley Farm and Supply in West Alexander. Please welcome Heather Rome. Hey, Heather. Hey, how's it going? Doing well. I'm glad we got connected here. Yeah. So uh, how's business? How are you guys doing? You hanging in there okay? Well, I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's slow. There's a lot of shows that aren't happening right now that normally do but that's okay. We've got our online shopping experience up and running and that's what we've been uh, really focusing on right now for our customers. Tell me about Smoky Valley Farm and Supply. What type of store are you guys for anybody that's not been uh, in your area, in your store? Sure, yeah, we, uh, we really focus on livestock. So we really love our animals and we focus on cattle, pigs, goats, lambs. Um, I have horses, so I always love our horse. Uh, enthusiasts, uh, but mainly we do livestock show supplies. Okay, so I, I told you before the show, I love having these conversations with business owners that are in a field that I know nothing about because I know that I'm going to learn something. So I'm going to be asking questions. And if it's a stupid question, you can say, Nick, 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 stop. That's you, you got that. You got that all backwards. Um, but it, Livestock shows, this is the sort of thing that you see 4-H do at the county fair, that sort of thing where they, they show uh, uh, cattle or goats, that sort of thing. Um, and then there's an auction at the end. Do I have that right? That's correct. And I want to tell you right now, there's no such thing as a stupid question in my book. Okay, I so I, I could probably come up with a couple. <laughs> oh, I've heard it all. Trust me. <laughs> Um, so yeah, these kids work very hard with their animals, um, and they, they make them basically as beautiful as possible. We sell the, the grooming supplies for them to, uh, to make their animals do what they need to do on show day. So I was looking through your website, um, and you're online at Smoky Valley Farm and Supply. Um, what's, what's the actual website? Yeah, it is SmokyValleySupply.com. Okay, SmokyValleySupply.com. Um, and I'm looking at your website, and I had no idea that there were this many type of products that go into this sort of thing. We're talking shampoos, uh, like supplements, that sort of stuff. I had no idea any of this stuff even existed. Oh, yeah. So prepping an animal for show is a lot more than people realize. Um, cattle, for instance, it takes hours of clipping to get them ready for show. Maybe not all at once, uh, but several days in a row, you know, an exhibitor or a fitter or a clipper will actually clip on that cow to make it perfect. Um, we have everything from livestock paint, adhesives like hairspray, right? Um, livestock hair blowers so that we can make them big and fluffy and pretty. <laughs> Um, yeah, and, and everything we do is to help our customers really get that champion look in the show ring. What, what is livestock paint? You know, it just helps to uh, make their, their coat look exactly how you want to. If you use adhesives such as hairsprays on, on cattle or goats, um, what it does is it covers up the white film, you know, so if you have a black or a red animal and you put white adhesive on them to make their hair stand up the way you want it to, you need to cover that up and make it look as natural as possible. Um, I had no also, idea that was even a thing. That's wild. You're blowing my mind right now. <laughs> right? Yeah, no. Grooming supplies for cattle and livestock, it's a huge business. A lot of people don't realize how much effort in, it takes to get them in that show ring that day. Um, we have have videos of people holding pop-up tents over their cattle to get to the show ring because it's raining and they don't want their fluffy cows to go flat. So <laughs> that, that's the fun stuff we get to see um, on the sidelines while we're sitting there watching the shows. So your so basically with all of these shows, your store is the one-stop shop to get all of those supplies and things that somebody would need for that sort of thing, correct? 
That's right. And we do our best to offer everything possible. Um, we, we have it, you know, because we use the products ourselves, we are able to tell people exactly on label and off label what this stuff does. And it, it's, it's a really good, um, really good program we have going on with our 4-Hers. And we, that's our favorite thing is to help everybody out to find out what works the best. So you, we were just talking about your new online shopping experience. You have a lot of things for sale online now. You've been working on that over the last few weeks, right? That's correct. So uh, we've had an online store for a couple years, but I wasn't very happy with it. And so I, I myself dug into it and I learned how to do some programming myself. And I really have taken it to the next level for our customers. And they can do things on there they cannot do on any other show supply store. That's uh, that's really interesting. And I'm actually, I don't usually do this, but I really like the way your website looks. I'm going to share the screen so that everybody can see if I can awesome. figure out how to do it. <laughs> awesome. We've worked awful hard. I, well, I should say I've worked awful hard on that thing. I can tell you that. Yeah. While I'm trying to figure that out, um, I want to ask you a few other questions. Sure. Um, you've got this new Smoky Valley Champions Club. Tell me about this. So our Champions Club, you know, it's not something where somebody needs to have won a banner or even a ribbon. We are there to promote good sportsmanship and and basically awesome animal husbandry. We're there to teach. We're there to help. Uh, we have a new Facebook group that we have created where people can come together and share their projects ask questions. Uh, we even have it set up so there's learning units on there. So if you want to learn more about cattle or lambs or sheep or goats or anything, uh, swine, we have it so that you can go to one tab and, and drill down through the videos very easily and find the information you need. And we are continuing to add to that constantly. Um, I have just started a newsletter where weekly I will be putting out neat show tips because like I said, we use these products and not just on the animals. I test them a lot, believe it or not, on myself, the shampoos, the conditioners, um, coconut shampoo makes a great bubble bath, guys. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just saying it does. I love it. And um, my dad, who has nothing to do with animals, he's in Florida. I just shipped him some coconut shampoo that he ordered because he'd been looking for something like that. And he said his hair is fluffier than ever. Um, he's in his 70s so that's important um <laughs> so anyway yeah so that that's what we do we we do our best to get information to our customers and we have what's called a smoky valley family we want everybody to feel like they belong with us um it's very important to us to to let everyone know that they are important you know we really find our vic's our very important champions you are important to us and that's what we want them to know and you can get get signed up for that at the website as well. Um, talk, let's talk about your showroom. You're hoping to get that opened up this week, correct? That is correct. So what is that? When you say showroom, you mean your, your storefront? Your, your So a lot of, you know, I've been to other, you know, livestock show supply places. And it's kind of depressing. It's just a storage warehouse. It's just, you know, <laughs> you kind of like look at their trailer. You're not allowed inside of it. What we have done... <laughs> from day one and it, it freaks parents out at first because their kids will come walking right inside. But we have, you know, from day one, I've just taken a different tack. And our show supply trailer is a mobile store. Come in, touch, feel everything, look at everything. You know, we we test the products right in front of you. Say, hey, if you're not if you're not sure which which paint works, we're gonna test it out and find out which paint you need to buy. Um, you know, so we have we have all that. But our showroom we've created a, a literal show supply wonderland. And what we have done is it's to the point where parents, if they know they need to just come and get something really quickly, they don't bring their kids. <laughs> 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 we have fun here. I mean, that's just the way it is. We want to have fun and we want people to walk in and just go, oh my goodness, look at everything here. This is so cool. And so that's what we did. We wanted to create a place where you could come and not only see all the products available, but learn about them. So what's the situation with trying to get that open? You are able to open that up this Friday, correct? Yes. So we will be following guidelines. Um, our governor has asked us to continue to wear masks and everything else. As the, um, the owner and our employees, we will be wearing masks, gloves, anything to keep, you know, to keep our customers to feel safe. Um, if our customers can't wear masks due to medical issues, that's okay. 
um, come anyway. We're going to be fine. We've been cleaning a lot. You know, we use a lot of sanitizers. So don't, I don't want anybody to feel scared to come and really enjoy what we have created with our showroom. And you're going to take the showroom out onto the road this summer too, right? Yeah, we go to shows and we go to fairs. So we do, we, we do some local stuff. Um, we do not do a lot of on the road work because we do enjoy our showroom and we do a lot of shipping online. But we love our local fairs and we love getting to see everybody at our local county fairs as well um, as the jackpot shows that hopefully will start up soon. I'm, I'm, I'm really crossing my fingers. I mean, this this needs to happen for these kids. They work too hard not to have their shows. We were talking a little bit about that before we went live about, uh, you know, all the 4-H kids and all the kids that are doing this stuff and, and how we're at risk of not even having any county fairs this summer, yeah. uh, unfortunately. Um, you were telling me about, um, like, online uh, livestock shows, yeah, which so I've never what heard we of. Yes. Yeah, so what we've been doing is what's called virtual shows. Uh, we have heifers that my son shows and he has been showing them virtually. It's, it's a it's a lot of work, though. I got to tell you, I, I feel for the judges who are judging each video. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's a lot more than having them, you know, 10 walk in a ring at once versus watching 10 videos. It's, it's a lot different. Um, and so we are reaching out to our local shows who we support um, and we ask them that if they need help, please come to us. If you need help with virtual shows, we will sponsor them. If you need prizes, please ask us. We are here. We are available and we want to see these kids reap rewards for all the hard work they are doing. Um, this includes the county fairs. Um, I would love to see these kids be able to show and sell their market animals that they work so hard to grow. Um, and so we should be able to do this virtually if, if we need to. I hope to I hope we don't. I hope we can have an actual show and sale. But if we have to do them virtually, I we are on board. Smoky Valley is here to help out our locals for sure. Yeah, I think it's a situation where uh, obviously whether or not things get canceled is completely out of our hands. There's nothing we can do about that, unfortunately. Um, but I think you're doing what you need to do to support those things and make those things happen if they need to happen. And then hopefully if we don't get to do all of that this year, we'll get to do it next summer, which you know will make it even bigger, even better. Um, so I've got your website, uh, Smoky Valley Supply up here. Um, right down at the bottom of the screen so everybody can see it. Um, so if you're involved, uh, talking to the listener, if you're involved in this sort of thing with livestock shows um, and you're at risk of having one canceled this year, uh, I think, um, you know, Heather and the, the gang at Smoky Valley Supply would be happy to help out. Yeah, definitely. We've always helped with um, with shows. We've always been big sponsors of anything to help with agriculture. And we would like to continue doing that, even if it's virtually. Okay. Well, sounds good. Heather, thanks so much for joining us on the show today. I appreciate it. I, I feel like I've learned something today. Well, that's good. I mean, who, a lot of people don't know what it takes to make that fluffy cow, right? I had no so, idea. Honestly, I had no idea there were fluffy cows and non-fluffy cows. So, Yes. Dairy versus beef. That's all you need to know. Dairy Wait, hold up. Time out. <laughs> Dairy cows and beef cows are two different cows? Oh, they are so different. Yes, our dairy customers love their sh their slick sheared cows, although they still need a good top line to make the top line the look the way they want it to. Um, but yeah, so with dairy cows, they tend to, to slick shear as much as possible off of, especially the udder, to make the udder look as good as possible. Um, beef cows, that's where you want that thick, beautiful hair coat, um, and that that's what we really, really help with. We are currently, just so you know, um, and our customers know. We understand that right now is really hard to deal with the cost of daily care. And we have found two products that mix amazingly well. Um, and we, we have them on sale. What so are they? that way our customers can continue with their daily care and be ready for those shows when we start opening them up again. What are the hot products? In fact, you told me you have something that's got a secret ingredient in it. Well, we personally, uh, we have Simital cattle. Now, Simital are not known for hair. Mm -hmm. There are other breeds that are, but Simitals are not. And we have, we've stumbled just because we like to play around with the different um, ingredients and the different products that we sell. And we have stumbled upon a mixture that's amazing. And we've ended up with some of the thickest, longest 
shaggiest hair you've ever seen that just when you clip it, it turns out like velvet. It's amazing. Um, and we are selling that bundle on our website right now at $10 off. Plus you get another 10% off of your entire order if you sign up for the Champions Club. Um, so yeah, I, I can't give you the secret formula, unfortunately, but if you go to our website, I bet you find it really fast. We have it right on there for you. Do you have a, a name for it? Did you give it a, a special custom name? Sure. If you, it, it is the ultimate hair growth and conditioning package. Mm. Yes. And like I said, the one thing that is scimitol breeders and we breed, you know, we breed purebreds, um, which is not a normal jackpot, you know, situation, but we've been doing very well in the show ring with our purebreds because we are really fluffing out our cows and they look beautiful. And uh, this is the shiniest, most manageable hair we've ever had. It even gets rid of a lot of cow breeds have obnoxious curly hair. And it makes it very hard to make them look the way you want it to. And it, it straightens that hair and makes it pop up beautifully. So that that is what we have been doing. And we want to pass that secret on to our customers. And it's the Ultimate Hair Growth and Conditioning Package by Smoky Valley. Ultimate Hair Growth and Conditioning Package. That's right. All right. Well, sounds good. Heather, thanks so much for joining us on Split Screen today. Thank you for inviting me. I really had fun. Absolutely. Good luck with your opening on Friday. And uh, I'm going to I'm gonna make it up and see you guys sometime this All summer. Right. I, I promise. I want to come see yeah. that trailer. Yeah, have fun. We'll be at the Washington County Fair as long as it's still going on. And hopefully the Marshall County Fair. And definitely, if you can't make it to those, the West Alexander, which is probably the closest one to you. Uh, we'll be starting Labor Day, and we all that's 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 our home fair, and we are always there to support that fair. We're a grand champion sponsor with that one. All right, Heather, thanks so much. And one real quick comment coming in from the comments section. Mikey says, "Yeah, I need that ultimate hair growth and conditioning package." You do. I'm not kidding. Now this stuff is so good. We use it on my daughter has fine but curly hair, and I will tell you, what, we use it on her every day to get it combed out. <laughs> It works really well, even on us. So, will it make yeah. mine grow back? <laughs> I don't know. My husband, you know, I've been trying to beg him to let me use it, but I will say we had a boxweiler who was bald, and we rescued him. And I was told by a couple of vets that, hey, we may never be able to get it to grow back. But this this mix, it was wow. like watching a kid grow. Yeah, he had black hair, <laughs> black skin disease, and it reversed it. Yeah. Wow. You know, yeah. Yeah, it's it's really, really awesome stuff. Worth a shot. I might try yeah. it. Now he's shedding. Oh, it's everywhere. It's spring shedding season, but his his hair is so soft and silky now. It's amazing. All right. Heather Rome, Smoky Valley Farm and Su Farm and Supply in West Alexander, PA, and SmokyValleySupply.com. Thanks so much for being on the show. Good luck to you, you this week, okay? You're welcome. Thank you, Nick. All right. All right. That is Split Screen presented by Harvey Goodman Realtor and uh, clickharvey.com. If you're looking to buy or sell a home, uh, clickharvey.com is the only place you need to be right now. If you're looking to buy, there are hundreds of homes in the Ohio Valley for sale right now. All you have to do is click on clickharvey.com and scroll through the pictures. If you're looking to sell, they have all the resources you need to sell your home quickly and easily. Clickharvey.com. That is Split Screen, a production of Love OV. We'll see you again on Thursday. Have a great week.